Hi there, students. To Stonewall. I think there's all one word. Um, or maybe as a noun as well, or even an adjective. I guess you could have it as two words, a stone wall, a wall made of stone. Let's see. To Stonewall. To avoid answering a question. To delay. Um, to stall. So he was stonewalling for time to be evasive and not give a direct answer. So politicians, when they are asked uh, embarrassing or difficult questions, they stonewall. They don't answer the question. They avoid answering it as best they can. OK, so to stonewall, to stop a discussion uh, by refusing to answer questions, or not even refusing, but by leading the conversation in, in another way, yeah, so that uh, people don't get their answer, yeah. He stonewalled the whole way through the interview, no matter how many direct questions the interviewer asked. So, to stonewall somebody, to try to prevent them from finding out the information they want by being unhelpful, by not answering their questions. Yeah, It's like you are putting a stone wall in their way. OK, so to stonewall, to delay or dis obstruct, yeah? Maybe somebody has a request and you don't really want to comply with the request, uh, but you don't want to look bad for uh, refusing it, so you stonewall, yeah? You, you keep just delaying it, yeah? Um, so are you going to do this tomorrow? Well, it's clear that this needs to be done soon. I haven't answered the question. Yeah, I've said need and soon. OK, so if someone's stonewalling you, you're, you're saying that uh, they're delaying giving a clear answer or making a, a decision, normally because they've got something that they want to hide or it's something that they want to avoid doing. So the administration is stonewalling in this matter. They don't want to uh, give a uh, fixed uh, situation. Um, let's see. To stonewall, you can. They can also actually use. You can also actually use this phrase in cricket, meaning to play really, really defensively. Yeah. Um, if I remember rightly, uh, Jeff Boycott was an expert at stonewalling. Yeah. He'd spend hours and hours and almost not score any runs at all. Um, you can also use this word. Uh, stonewall as an adjective, as in, he gave me stonewall assurances, yeah, absolutely cast iron concrete, although this um, usage is much less common, yeah, uh, nearly always to stonewall, to refuse to cooperate, yeah, to obstruct, to uh, refu to avoid, and I like better the word, avoid supplying the information. Yeah, so uh, the uh, company was stonewalling the press, although the press were hounding them for um, a clear statement. OK, so to stonewall, to um, try, try to av avoid answering or to delay as long as you can. And this is the idea of to stonewall. Um, I'm wondering about formality. Um, I think I would probably give this a 5 in formality, maybe 4.5. I think you can definitely, in an informal conversation, although it's maybe a more technical or more American word, yeah? Um, I'm not sure I would use it in a very formal uh, writing, but in something very semi-formal, very definitely. Notice as well, it's both uh, transitive and intransitive. Uh, he was stonewalling. He was stonewalling me, OK? And a regular verb as well. Um, as to origin, well, it comes from stone wall, clearly a stone wall, uh, an impenetrable barrier. And we have the uh, word uh, stone, which comes from Proto-Germanic steinaz, meaning a stone. 
and a wall which comes from Latin vallum okay so yeah a stone wall so yeah whenever I ask him a direct question he's always stonewalling me yeah Par very often parents when uh, their kids want something instead of saying no they stonewall them well maybe later yeah, that's definitely an example of stonewalling. Okay, so enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. To stonewall. Stonewalling.